whole circle, also from the VR. Might have coach page on Facebook. Yeah, and we're broadcasting live in like eight places today. Awesome. Say hi. Hello, hello. Welcome to another edition of. Circle. Healthy Healthy Creations Kitchen. So this is our third in our series of uh, having some fun in the kitchen. Uh, our powerful circles are group to uh, get couples together and uh, cook together and have some fun and then also to make some delicious things. Yeah. So we've made, we did a Valentine's Day dinner and we had a St. Patrick's Day food brunch. So this is our third in our series when we decided to do things because when you think of um, it is definitely possible. We want to make sure it is possible for everybody to see us today and also to follow along with our recipes. And we want to also make sure that you have the recipe. So I'm going to go in the comments and uh, kick it out in the chat here. Yeah. And where they need to go for that, they're going to go to the YouTube recipe page on the website. Yeah, that's great. Is that more recipe for today. So once again, if you check the comment section, you can put a link to download to the recipe. So check it out for that recipe to download or cook along with us. So let's get started. Okay, so, what do you want to do today? I'm going to have everything already measured here to be easy because it takes a long time and we have it here about an hour, right? Yes. Or to show you that this recipe is very simple, like I said, and I've always mentioned it how important it is to be simple and easy to make, right? You don't want complication, right? Yeah. So it, this is a very easy recipe. I found it very easy. So. Easy and delicious. And delicious. And plant-based and healthy. So we notice, uh, as you know, Easter can be oh, so much sugar, you know? And I know. Just kinda, I, know I think as I, uh, as I age gracefully, um, the sugar just becomes like, Total like acid, like uh, you know, yeah. little peeps, little marshmallow peeps. Uh, you know, I guess when I was a kid, I could maybe bite the head off a few chicks, but uh, now it's just like, bam! That sugar is just way too much. So we're using healthy yeah. sugars today in yeah. our recipes. Yeah, it's like when people will look at me, I don't know if you, but they say, "Oh, it's easy for you. You used to eat like a dark chocolate, or eat, like um, dessert that have doesn't have a lot of sugar." But oh, it's not always like this. Like you always talk about like years ago before I became a health coach and started introducing my life to a healthy eating, I used to eat a lot sweet. And I could say I was addicted to chocolate chip cookies and all those Oreo cookies with milk. Who knows me knows the story that I was addicted actually to Oreo cookies and chocolate chip cookies, all these delicious cookies, but not healthy. And I used to eat it every day, but not with uh, no, you're saying, milk. Yes. Yeah, I think there's a lot of people out there with the sleeve of cookies and the milk. It's just like like kind of comfort I food. To the milk. But now we realize how bad sugar yeah. is for us and for our immune systems and uh, how cancer cells uh, really thrive on sugar. So we try to minimize the sugar. If we are using it, we're going to use a natural fruit-based sugar, include fruit in what we're doing, as well as uh, some of the sugars that we now, use. We try to use. Today we're going to be using well. I really like coconut sugar, which is low glycemic, 
yes. kind of sugar uh, and also vimerara. I don't know if you know that sugar, but it's less refined. And what I always say to my clients, sometimes you would just want to taste the recipe. So I cut the sugar in half. It makes such a big difference. Like today in this recipe, you're mm-hmm. going to find so many recipes with macaroni that you're going to make. But like I cut the amount of sugar in half. And you're using a mix of coconut sugar with some vanilla sugar, which I don't have the container here, but it's, I, we can sh- you know, show a link yes. where you can get the vanilla sugar. Vanilla sugar. Vanilla sugar. Okay, so let's start with the Passover. So let's explain why you decided to do one recipe for Passover and one for Easter, because it's going to be... Both cultures have embraced coconut, and uh, I know it's not tropical in the Middle East, but, but coconut is uh, kind of like a symbolism of a tree nut that people really enjoy. And then there's tons of Easter bunnies and things where they're using coconut as well. But, uh, you know, the macaroon, I think, is in a lot of cultures, which is be, being able to create almost like a mini cake or a mini candy say hi uh, here. out of it. So uh, you know, yeah, if you want to post it in the comment section, let's do a yeah, shout out. Right. Everybody joining Can we share there. with someone? Oh, let me share with you, by the way, with someone. Just a quick break here to share with people. Just announcing that we are here. If you can please also share with your friends who wants to learn to delicious... Delicious and desserts today, yes. Dessert. And a little bit of chocolate. We have yeah. chocolate lovers out there. I know everybody enjoys a little bit of chocolate as well. Today we're cooking with some dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. That dark delicious. chocolate. Plenty of antioxidants in dark chocolate, so we definitely enjoyed that. So and, I'm just sharing here, baby. Okay. She's, so now we're sharing here. If you have a friend that uh, enjoys cooking with you, as I said, we call it power couple. I mean, power couple could be a, a good friend as well. It's uh, two people that get together energ- energetically and love to do positive things together. So uh, oh, nice. love to have that opportunity to um, continue to educate. And we're going to kick off our first recipe here. But once again, I did put in the comment section the PDF download for the recipes. All right. So coconut macaroons, delicious recipe. That's very simple. Like I said, um, let's start you. Maybe you can help me like talking about the ingredients and I'll put it together. So here, can they see it? Yeah, we're going to go okay. to the... Um, to your hand cam here. Let's yeah. See what we got here. Make it easy for you guys to. Okay, here we have all the ingredients. So, here are the coconut. Of course, you're going to be able to read in the recipe the amount, but I can repeat here, which is, I think, two and a half cups of. Where's the camera? Unsweetened uh, shredded coconut. Right here. Unsweetened. Unsweetened um, shredded coconut. Here we have, and we're going to. I believe mix everything in the pan. Yeah, bring the pan front and center right there. You can see everything that Mara's doing with her hands. Here's the coconut. Then, uh, this is, doesn't matter, like the a, a quarter cup of almond flour. Almond flour, exactly. We're going to buy a quarter cup of almond flour. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to have uh, Demerara sugar. Okay. We're going to uh, put a little bit of salt, a little bit of honey. Uh, and also, the exact amounts are in our recipe there. And, and four egg whites. Four egg whites, and yes. And it's important to leave on room temperature. Did I, I think I mean Yeah, why room temperature? Why is that a big thing? Good question. <laughs> okay, uh, so now... A little vanilla extract. A little vanilla extract. Yes. So we're going to combine the quarter cup of almond flour with the four egg whites. Demerara sugar, the salt, the honey, the coconut, vanilla extract. That's going to be in a medium-sized saucepan with a heavy bottom because we're actually going to cook that. And then we're going to put the saucepan over a medium-low heat. Oh, there's people drying here. All right. And we're going to stir until the egg whites moisten everything and the sugar melts. Here it is. You can see it. Very simple. Just measure the ingredients, put it in the pot. Now we're going to, you already said. Yep. We're going to go back to the, uh, the healthy creation stove here, and we'll be able to add in. <laughs> We're like Vanna White there, like, hey. And what's our motto at Healthy Creations Kitchen? Yeah, to have everything healthy and delicious and simple and inspire people. Actually, just inspire people to start cooking and to it's safer, right? 
It is simple. And simple and delicious is the, what we want to do with everything. Make it simple and delicious. And once again, if you didn't have a chance to download our recipes, I'm going to show you real quick. Yes, and I this I is the page on the Healthy Creations. And you could actually check all of our prior shows here. And there's a little link to download the recipes. Uh, once again, it's Maris Healthy Creations forward slash recipes. And it is in the comments box, but we invite you to go there. And as I said, if you missed uh, some of our prior shows, it's all all there as well. Let me go back. Mara would like yeah, to, just uh, let me to show do, the a little, do a little show up on the uh, on the cam here. So let me do that. And okay, the consistency. So as you see, it's going to start like melting while the uh, bag whites. Mix it all together. So it takes about I don't know, five minutes maybe to cook. And meanwhile, it thinks you can... Talk about something. Yeah, so when we talk about the coconut macaroons, a lot of times if you've tried macaroons in the past, they tend to use a condensed milk, oh, yeah. so extra sugary. Um, we really pride ourselves in doing a lot of plant-based recipes. We feel plant-based being a little more healthier, being able to uh, digest easier, being able for your body to understand no artificial food colorings, no artificial flavors, which tends to happen a lot with... Um, Little snacks and the lights around the uh, the Easter season, so we want to make sure that uh, we are healthy and well with this. And as you see, what matters doing here, maybe you come back to the uh, to the cam again. It's actually um, it emulsifies relatively quickly, right? It's a um, it becomes very very condensed, and you can actually take a closer look at that. Let me just do a little zoom in as well. Gooey and and that's the sugar, right? And the sugar in the almond flour. And the egg whites. And the egg whites as well. Um, so we also are going to start queuing up for our next recipe while Mara's working on that. So we're going to cook the uh, the mixture and stir it constantly so it doesn't scorch the bottom of the pan. Yeah. And uh, we have the egg whites uh, mixture. We're going to cook off some of the liquid and we're going to stir the macaroons for about five to seven minutes. So Mara's doing her yeah. stirring. Her. Don't forget, we have to preheat the oven. We're preheating the oven because once again, once we create these, and Mara's going to show you how she puts them on the pan and she bakes them. And we get like a really nice, it's like caramelization, right? Yeah, like, like outside, brown. crispy on the outside, inside, when you eat the it's really like soft inside. It's really delicious. Exactly. And I hope we're going to have the time. Hopefully, we will. Uh, but we have to have, give a little time to cool off and then we can put the chocolate. Yes, love the dip in the chocolate there. So. As I said, once she's done uh, cooking the macaroons there, we're going to scrape the dough uh, into a bowl. And then from there, we'll be creating our little macaroon. I, I think they're like little volcanoes. What would you say? Like, uh, you know, they have like a little amoundness to it from the volcano. Uh, Actually, you can make us in the form of cookies, or you can really mold it with your hands, like a little higher and drizzle chocolate on top. I don't know. Whoever made uh, macaroon before, you know. But it's very easy. You can make just like a cookie too. Yeah, I've seen it done as a cookie. Maybe they'll press like a little almond on top of it. Right, I've right. seen that that style as well. I also enjoy the almond horns, which are kind of like a uh, coconut and almond delight. But as I said, because the addition of almond flour in here it does give it a little extra sweetness as well. And also protein, right? Yeah, whites. Yeah. That's the egg whites and the almond flour. We're actually eating protein from this recipe, which is very important uh, to have when, that balance. Yeah, the sugar, like I always say, if you're eating anything that's carbs or sugar, it's important to add a protein so to lower the glycemic. So we actually, you can say it's a healthy recipe, uh, um, you know, dessert, and also the amount. <laughs> you're going to make about like 10, 15 macarons here. Yes. So maybe one, two a day. <laughs> Yeah, you're not going to ignore yourself yeah. on these as well. But just to talk a little bit about what Mara had said, um, there was a study, uh, I guess a few years back, where they looked at giving people carbs for breakfast, so like a bowl of cereal, and then they compared that to another group where they gave a bowl of cereal and a couple of eggs. And what they found out was the group that combined the carbohydrates with the protein mm -hmm. actually lost more weight than the ones that were eating carbohydrates alone. Mm -hmm. So having that, uh, that carb-protein balance um, definitely allows your body to have a balance and also to, as I said, to operate more efficiently because it's not in fat storage mode with all those carbs. Yeah. So it's about, oh, it's ready, you know? so it almost looks like, yeah, it almost looks like an oatmeal type consistency. Yeah. And um, 
we're actually going to put it in the bowl and then we'll be able to do something. Yeah, you know, it's really normal, but yeah, that's why you can't cook it at high temperature or a flame because it gets to get like burning inside. Yes, so let's show it to the camera here. Yep. But you have to really, you can leave it alone in the pan. You really have to be stirring all the time. So it's starting to get a little burning inside here. You can see it. But you have to be careful. Just look at it and keep away from the burning and lower Flame. Lower the flame. Yeah, lower the flame. Absolutely. You don't want it to burn. That's to be honest. It's really easy to get burned. And where did you keep the uh, the light? The light was right around medium or medium high. Uh, yeah, light, light to medium. Light to medium. Already, so okay. we're gonna transfer these now like, yep. to the to the bowl. bowl. Let me let me do the zoom it. for you here. We'll do a little zoom. It is. Thanks, guys. We're staying here, Martha. There's some other people joining here on Instagram. And we are also on live, live stream on Facebook, guys. You can see more of what we're doing over there. Because I don't believe that they're able to see it on Instagram. Right, they're only going to be yeah. able to see the single camera shoot. But if the you go to uh, our YouTube channel or on Facebook Live at Mara Health Coach, Seven Keys Wellness. Power Couple Circle. You're We're streaming on like guys. eight channels Please today. Share. LinkedIn. Yes. We share. So here it is. This is about the cone. You can see a little brown because we use coconut uh, sugar and the metallic sugar, but the taste would be as delicious. So here it is. We got the camera here. Have two cameras. I'm going to show you here how it is. I'm going to show you guys. So you're going to leave this alone now. What you can do is put a, a layer of parchment paper on top. Yeah, or we love the paper. parchment paper. Let's tell everybody why we love the parchment paper. Because of easy cleanup. Easy cleanup. We love easy cleanup. Easy cleanup. Yeah. Actually, that's something I always say. I love cooking, but I'm not so, you know. Happy with the cleanup, but we have to do it too. It's I know most of... people spend just as much time cleaning up as they do cooking. I mean, right. that is it's not fun at all. That is and not now fun. I say it's part of it, so just embrace it. We have to clean up after and enjoy the delicious food. Right, but parchment paper is a big saver here. Oh, here we have a little bit of plastic on this. And this goes now in the, we can, you know, cool off from, from your counter out of the refrigerator, but since we want to speed up here, we're going to put in the refrigerator and we're going to start with the other recipe here right yes let's move on to our second recipe here so the first one is our coconut macarons i think we're staying with the uh the coconut theme a little bit right yeah the second so, one is our cocoa chocolate tarts and you know the holidays you know once again passover and easter definitely include chocolate so we want to make sure we have some chocolate here as well so it's our chocolate cocoa tarts. Make sure you uh, download this recipe as well. It's available on maraschealthycreations.com forward slash recipes. You can grab those recipes as well. And the cocoa tarts, um, very interesting here because typically a lot of people buy their own pie crusts. And one of the really cool things you can do is you can make your own pie crust. Very easy, gluten free. Gluten free pie crust, definitely. I know gluten's a big. Uh, I contributing factor for a lot of people. Yes. So our chocolate cocoa tarts. Let's run down some of the exciting things that we're going to put into this that recipe. We well. have it already for the macaroons, right? Yes. And here, let's talk about a little bit of the, about the ingredients, which I have it. I have here ready actually, but maybe you can read for us. Yes. So when we okay. look at the ingredients, uh, it is uh, we're focusing on the shell first. So the recipe is broken yeah, down shell. into two two areas. So we have the shell, which is made up of one cup of instant oats, or about shell, 70 grams. So shell, it's fine. So we have here, yeah. You want to read for us? Yeah, I'll read. So you're showing it there. Yeah. Uh, so once again, one cup of instant oats. We have a quarter cup of almond flour. Once again, we could use the almond flour and macaroons mm -hmm. as well. Right. And then we have the desiccated coconut. Mm -hmm. Now, desiccated coconut in comparison to regular coconut. Right, yeah. I actually went... To check. You did research on that? I did the research on she that. She did research on that. And it's just really the, you know, the um, the pure coconut shredded and dehydrated, right? Because right. sometimes what they have, the coconut, like they shred it and 
retains a lot of the moisture, yeah. a lot of the coconut mm -hmm. water from the original mm -hmm. shell. But this is actually the pure coconut that they just dehydrate. And just dry out, yeah, right? dry out. And, but I'm going to mention it for you, you guys, that I'm making only half recipe here because we need the shells ready to show you. So um, that's why it's, you can say only that. It's just that we're going to make half recipe now because I already made half before. So yeah, so I can use this small food processor. Um, but I suggest you to use a bigger processor if you're making a full recipe. Right. We like fun size. Fun size fun things size. in the kitchen. As you well. like fun size. I like fun size. I'm a big fun size lover. <laughs> and once again, Chef Mario and Chef Dario having a little bit of fun here in the kitchen today. If you're just joining us, the other thing we're going to add is one teaspoon of natural cocoa. Okay, I did it already. So yep. everything here. And then we're going to That's the dry ingredients. Yeah, dry easy. ingredients. Dry right? ingredients. Then we're going to mix some of the honey and the coconut oil, which is somewhere yes. right here. So, yeah, this is what we're going to be using. I love this hand blender. Okay. Yeah, the hand blender. That's uh, that's available in your favorite store as yeah. well. So we want to make sure that people can see that. Let me yeah. do a little zoom. And more. by the way, people keep asking me, oh, where'd you get these? Or you get that because they want to buy it and they don't want to find it. I think, uh, so as you know, we have a link where you can find all these gadget, you know, kitchen um, gadget that we use in the kitchen and also the ingredients, okay? Right. It's all available in Mara's Great Life Mall. Yeah. Okay. The Great Life Mall. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So, we have so let's blend together the dry ingredients. Yes. Can you see it? Yeah. Let's camera? Let's see it. Yeah, right. Let's see it right on camera. There. So we say fine consistency. Yeah. It's um, not a powder, right? It does have uh, some, some granularity to it. Um, say a little bit more like an instant oatmeal, so it's not quite as as, as flaky yeah, okay. as you see. Actually, it. this recipe I've done before, and it's it's okay. It's not big deal if it's a little, you know, too fine or a little bit specific. And so we came up like this. Right there. And I'll show you. Like that. So now we're gonna add the wet ingredients, which is the honey and the coconut oil. The honey and the coconut. Love that. Like I said, it's only a four tablespoons, but I have here half recipe, so we're two. gonna do two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of coconut oil, and we buy the coconut oil. You know. Oh yeah, you wanna show the coconut yes. oil? Yes. So from a coconut oil perspective, we look at um, this type of coconut oil, which is uh, this oh, just happens to be an organic, virgin, unrefined coconut oil. And at room temperature, as you see, it's solid. Yeah, so we usually have to heat that up, and we'll do that just in a little glass cup on a uh, little pan of water or um, microwave for a yeah. second or two. Um, but it creates, it turns it right into oil. It's also um, a great moisturizer for hair and skin. You can use it in smoothies. Um, and, of course, everybody talks about the uh, no trans fat and non-GMO aspect of it. Yeah, I'm just looking for my mouse right here. I lost for a second. Her measuring cup, once okay, again. Let me show you a trick that I learned. People say whenever they're going to pour like honey or maple syrup, it gets stuck stick in the um, marketing. I like to use a little bit of either coconut oil or avocado oil or just oil. Spray a little bit. And you're going to see how easy it is then to get that shape there. So we do only one tape, one or two. There you go. Two, right? Two honey? Yes. Okay, so there you go. Because we're cutting the recipe in half. The recipe yeah. you may have downloaded is going to say four tablespoons so, of honey. See so, see how easy it that. comes off? Yes. Oh, there you go. And also, too, um, we also can substitute uh, maple syrup as well. Yeah. Sometimes I like to mix it up like one. A little bit half and half? Yeah, half and half. Okay. 
Yeah, so if you're maple syrup fans, you can do that, but also honey. You know, honey definitely has a, a lot of great enzymes for digestion. It's great for the microbiome. It's great for the immune system. So we want to make sure that, uh, you know, we include a little bit of honey in our diet as well as uh, honey in our teas. Yeah. And you really talk about this honey. It's local honey, although it's important to have it raw. But when you're cooking, you lose a little bit of the properties. But I still prefer Yeah, the key with honey, and I know a lot of people during allergy season uh, like to put a little honey in their tea because it definitely helps uh, shorten the effect of allergies as we come into the season. Uh, but there is a big recommendation to uh, use local honey. Uh, hence the local bees, right? So if you're allergic to pollen that's in your local community, mm -hmm. you want to use local honey because what's that going to do? That's going to boost your immune system because your body's already going to be used to seeing that type of pollen. In this case, the bees are digesting it for you and it's part of the honey. So we want to make sure that you're using pure raw honey, make sure there's no preservatives. I know some of the honey, commercial honeys out there, they actually sweeten with a corn syrup, which yeah. is beyond imagination in there. But, um, we like the honey from our friend called Natural Bees or Nature's Bees. That's N A T U R Z B E E Z. Nature's Bees. Um, because we like seven keys as well. We like to present on that. So there you go. So that's our local honey tip. Great for allergies and great for boosting the immune system. All right. That's the honey. And also, it's sugar still. You have to always be careful with moderation with any kind of even natural sweeteners, right? Yes. Okay. So we added the dry ingredients now, the wet ingredients, which is the honey and the coconut oil. Yes. And we're going to mix it again. Ready? Let's do it. Got the camera there. Yeah. We'll go zoom in. <laughs> To um, I'm using this um, two by four, I believe, right? Two by four tarts, mini tarts. Three and a half, four, pretty, pretty close. Yeah. And you're just gonna, I said in recipe a spoon because I was doing with the spoon, back with the spoon, but to be honest, it's easier even with your hands. I like to use my gloves. Yes, the glove lady here, protecting yeah. your manicure as well as uh, <laughs> doing all those fun things with uh, and so it's about, you know, it depends. Like I said, here, I believe that enough, like, to make four little tarts, but it depends on how thick you want your little tart. So I'm going to make it, um, uh, well, let me get another glove. I'm going to use my two hands for this. And this gloss is to, I, I love this gloss. They're disposable, and I use so many when I'm cooking for my plants as well. Yeah, we got some shout outs here as well. We'll show this up on the screen. There you go. From Brazil. I think this is like our uh, oh. our farthest viewer, right? Right. Who is it? Oh, my Josie. Oh, thanks for joining us, Joe. Good to see you here. Fantastic. And make this recipe. It's really good. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, let's start. I'm just going to make it very easy. Now, are we, did you put anything in the pans there? Do we have to put it? No, any? actually, no, because, you know, there's the coconut oil. Yes. It, you're going to see how easy it, it comes off the, um, the tart. So, I don't know, about a tablespoon or two tablespoons. And can we see how it goes? How we're making it. And you just put your fingers. And like I said, you can make it a thin tart or you can make a little more if you like more of the the tart, like the dough. So here it is. This one is how it comes out. You're going to see. It's very easy. Very easy to make. And you can make a big one too, like an 8 by 9 A big one. I think yeah, I know, I a big pan as well. Big pan as well. So here's one. Let's see. Right. So you divided the mixture evenly into each of those right. and they're nonstick tart molds. As you see, Mara's pressing evenly into the sides and bottom. And instead of using the back of the spoon, she's actually using her okay. fingers and her gloves here, which work just the same. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bake it in our preheated oven for about 15 minutes. And we're going to do that on the lower two-thirds rack. So if you think of the oven having three racks generally, okay. it's the second out of the, out of the three racks. And then uh, once we cook those for about 15 minutes, we're going to cool those. There you go. 
Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. And you're right, it does spread right in there yeah. relatively easy in comparison to, um, you know, to having to use like a spray to, yeah. to, make, no, to kind of have it pop out or whatever. And um, you can use this torch for any other kind of, uh, you know, we are making chocolate torch here, but also we can have uh, any other fruit torch. It's a good for fruit, fruit torch. Fruit torch, you can do a custard. This, a custard. this, this crust is just so easy to make. Yeah, that, that and I know you and like. It's oatmeal, so. And you like to freeze. Yes, that's what well. I'm gonna say. You yes. can make it ahead, and you know, if you want to make uh, like a quick uh, uh, dessert for the weekend, you already have the tarts. Actually, you guys can you see you can buy this ready, but it's made with flour. All these are addictive. Yeah. Uh, artificial, artificial ingredients. ingredients. So, yeah, yeah. And this is yes. oatmeal. Yes. It's so healthy. Oatmeal and uh, almond flour, which is gluten free, and I believe that's why they. It's a popular dessert for Passover because they don't eat any leavened bread. bread. This is unleavened is here, yes. yes, unleavened. And we're going into our last one there. Awesome. Right. And it looks, looks very good. And we, we, we test these in, in Mara's test kitchen quite often to make sure that Always. she has <laughs> everything ready to go and, uh, and deliciousness. And we also share it with family and friends and make sure they love it as well. So very, very good from that perspective. If you guys have any question for us, you know, related to either one of the recipes or as I think everybody knows by now, but if you don't know yet, well, people know that I am a health coach, but also that Chef Daniel is also a health coach. You want to talk a little bit yeah, um, of your entering this <laughs> adventure? Yeah, yes, my, my, my whole mate there, absolutely. Um, so I've been a business coach uh, for many years, and I found that there's definitely a gap in people taking care of their business, but not necessarily taking care of their health or really focusing on their health. So we wanted to, uh, I wanted to actually expand, expand my practice, and uh, we, you know, kind of as a couple, kind of tag team these uh, coaching opportunities for clients that need help with their business as well as uh, well, business in the sense of their marketing, okay. their business plan, which is my specialty. But I got went back to school during this pandemic uh, to the Dr. Sears Wellness Institute and uh, studied to become a health coach, focusing on lifestyle, exercise, attitude, and of course, nutrition. We call it lean. <laughs> and uh, so it adds uh, a little extra to my coaching practice to be able to share some of those areas of your life because we constantly look at your business plan and where your marketing's at and where your money's at and all these things and making your business successful. But, but you can't run a successful business if you're not healthy. healthy and, so and have your the energy that you need to wake up every day and happy to go to work. And, and excited, and yeah, work. as well, and have that energy to do it. A lot of entrepreneurs put very long hours in, you know, that's like nonstop. Lack of sleep. Lack of sleep, definitely a big thing. Drinking a lot of simple things. That or they're on the coffee drink. diet, or they're simulating coffee. themselves with coffee all day. So, uh, yeah, we uh, share everything from our smoothie recipes to Mara's plant-based cooking. And then we also look at uh, some of the primary foods. The seven keys. Right. And then we roll right into the seven keys as well. So seven keys is sponsor of our show today. That's the number seven, K-E-Y-Z.com, the online resource to, provide, to find health and wellness providers in your local community. And um, we, we talk about the seven keys. Might as well shout them out right now, right? So yeah, nice. seven keys. We start out with spirit. Then we go to mind. Then we go to body. And then love and family and also having a balance between work and play. Mm -hmm. So our coaching practices really focus on those areas to make sure that you get balance in your life. To give your life as a wheel and that wheel has spokes in it. And if some spokes are shorter than others, that wheel is kind of thump, 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 thump and down the road. So we want to make sure that you're aware of these areas of your life that you can get rebalance in. You can visit the 7keys.com website. Find the health and wellness practitioners. I'm sure, there's other uh, health and wellness coaches on there, holistic dentists, yoga classes. Shout out to the Be the Den and our friend yeah, Nikolai. Yeah, yeah. So, we have a lot of exciting things happening. We thank you so much for joining us today uh, on our show because we really think that the nurturing from your body and giving your body really good things to eat. I know, Mara, you talk about food is information. information. What kind of information is body getting on something like oh this my here? Oh, gosh. So good. You know, it's. Fiber. So you can eat a dessert that has good fiber from right. um, oats. So your body gets information that you eat a dessert, but you're also getting fiber. And again, the protein, 
of the good stuff. And we're going to be talking more about this okay. in future videos. So here we have it ready, our tarts. And it has to go in the oven now. Thanks for all the hearts. So please share and keep us hard. We love hearts. We love hearts. We love right. hearts. Give us more hearts. <laughs> <laughs> and go in the oven for how long? 15. 15 minutes. And the oven's already set the oven. Uh, it's uh, for 350. 350 degrees. And what I'm going to do is put the timer here because, believe me, Burn. Yes, and you do want to keep an eye on those as well, right? You want to make sure that you're keeping an eye on it and making sure you have a little timer. Show them a little timer that we that we oh, use. Oh, yeah, it's simple. I like to sometimes there's the hazard, so I use this KitchenAid. Little KitchenAid timer yeah, here. So you can get it on you know, Amazon. We can post a link for this yep. here, right? Yep, we can definitely yeah. post a link for it. So if it's start, we already did it. So now I can go on. With the next step, the next which step. the magic is that uh, <laughs> it's already done. This way we can show you guys the whole process of the dessert. So let me just clean up here a little bit, and we're going to start with the filling. Yeah, let's do that filling up. So we talk in terms of filling here. There's a separate category, okay. and we look at uh, utilizing, in this case, chocolate. And this is a very easy filling. I and mean, if there's any easy fillings out there, this is the easy filling. So let's so, show some of the ingredients that's, that's okay, in our filling here. Okay, here we have, well, we can actually use the chocolate bar and shave you know, like the cut in little pieces, chunks mm -hmm. of chocolate. But, you know, you can already buy it, the chocolate chips to be on it. It's easier. So I found this chocolate chip very Good because it's natural. I always like to look at the ingredient the, list. Yes, the ingredients. Like, oh, how many calories? What what's in it? You're really gonna know if you look at the ingredient list. So that you can really try uh, trust. So here, the only ingredients that's here is unsweetened cocoa, cane sugar, of course, a little bit, and cocoa, a little bit of coconut butter. So all natural ingredients. This is from uh, Enjoy Your Life, hundred percent real chocolate. So here it is, and we have it here ready. So for this recipe, I, I like to actually weight this, but it's about half a cup, I believe. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put it here. In the and we do put the grams. If you go to all the recipes, you can actually right, right. see. Yeah, uh, in Brazil, the they go by here. the grams, yeah. not ounce. Yes. But we are using uh, eight ounces of chocolate. And we're using the full recipe on the chocolate because we're going to have our eight shells that we need to um, fill. Right. So we'll make sure we do that as well. So let's look at what's happening on the uh, on the prep table here. We're doing yeah. our measurements. And once again, as far as the filling goes, we're going to look at uh, what type of pot are you using with this as well as far as being able to heat this up. We're looking at... Yeah, the coconut milk. Yes. Remember? So we're going to first measure the, the coconut, which, well, it's eight ounces. But we're using only four here, so. Um, no, we're doing eight. Because hmm? we have shells here. The other shell should be done in time, so we'll have enough to fill the other four. There you go. All right, yeah. That's a good, yeah. You're right. And we're using a full fat coconut milk. And when we say full fat, um, I, I know there's what? Reduced fat coconut milk. So we want to make sure that we're using. Um, an ingredient that uh, is not your typical coconut milk because when people think coconut milk they think they buy it by the gallon and they keep it in the refrigerator uh, but that is a different type of coconut milk so we, we generally look for the milk. coconut in the cans so and we will make sure we do that i was playing for four hours so i know so we got to double up yeah. and uh, why don't you show the can real quick because when what? we buy things in cans oh, okay. you want to make yeah. sure you want to talk about the coconut yeah you want to make sure that you're buying um canned goods which are fully lined so why don't you do let me just do a little oh. zoom in on the on this so that's our organic coconut milk camera we yep. have two cameras here that's fine yep okay. and then if you open if you turn it the other way and look inside of the can you'll see it has a white lining on the oh, can. The white line. yeah. yes and basically what that does is it protects the acids uh in this case whether it's a soup whether it's coconut mm -hmm. 
from interacting with the metals and the BPA can. free, right? Yes. That's all the toxins. So it's only not only BPA that we have in this place, but there's something. This is a good one. We try yes. to be careful. We try to be careful with that as well. It, so. so once again, it's out of a can. It's not. We say coconut milk, but once again, this is the high fat coconut milk. Yeah, coconut. How many grams of fat is in that can? No more. You see, there's no thickening. Thickening agents. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is the 13.5 ounce, almost 400 milligrams. Right. So here, are you ready for the chocolate? So I'm, I'm ready for the chocolate. Bring that chocolate in there. So here's four ounces. Would I had it before? So yep. we need four more. We're gonna add four more ounces here, and that's the, the really nice thing about the scale because the scale you can go incrementally right up, add the additional chocolate that you need, exactly. and then make sure that you have it for the exact okay. recipe. So going back, uh, we're gonna work on the filling. Now the filling we're going to add. Juice. The coconut milk, which through the magic of... We should eat more now, because yes. I have only half, so I'm going to add another half. Yep. So you're going to be using the full recipe if you download our PDF recipe guide. And once again, don't forget that they are available um, right here on our website, actually Mara's website, you can actually scroll down to today's class. You'll see we're doing the coconut macaroons and the cocoa chocolate tarts. You simply click here and you'll be able to download the recipes. So we got all your chocolate measured out. So we have the, um, right, we have the coconut milk to a pot. We're gonna heat that on medium until it's starting to boil. And then we're gonna pour it into the bowl that contains the chocolate. And we're going to leave it for 30 seconds. So very interesting that, you know, people think they're going to add the chocolate to the hot pot. In this case, you're adding adding it to the chocolate. Yeah. That's how we're going to and we're going to let it sit for 30 seconds and let it get a little bit of emulsified. You're going to see how it gets creamy. And, right. and what type of tool would you recommend that? Are they going to um, whisk it? Or are they going to... Yeah, uh, just, um, just regular, um, the one that you can really use it all a lot. You know, how we call the... Silicone. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we tend to like the silicone tools a little bit. A little spatulini there. You know, the spatula, but it's a tiny one, so I call it spatulini or fun size. We have a lot of fun size tools in the kitchen here. You know. A lot of fun size. Yeah. He calls me fun size. You believe that? Yeah. I wonder you, why. You truly are fun size. So much fun packed into a small size. Absolutely. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about your private chef services. Is this oh. some of the recipes that uh, you're cooking for I your clients? I have done it for my clients. I have done it before, yes. Uh, yeah, I've been having really a great time helping my clients in offering also uh, service cooking as a um, personal chef, actually, and been working on the menus and all these questionnaires that's important for them. For me to know my clients, to see what they really need before I actually start, you know, cooking for them. So it's been quite a journey. I, I enjoy it. It's been a couple of months now since the beginning of the year. Start really like I always cook for clients in the past for my clients. Actually. But you've been cooking as a, ever oh, since you were a kid with your yeah. mom back in Brazil. So you know, when you talk about what people say, well, Mara, how long have you been cooking? Well, yeah, I've been I cooking since I was a kid, but then you were uh, cooking for a family. Many years, many years yeah. 30 for 30 years, you know, basically managing the home and the kitchen for a family. I had the opportunity to learn other kinds of cultures and techniques. other kinds of techniques and how to diversity with food. How is like I grew up eating Brazilian food, rice and beans, and vegetables, and regular food, but rice and beans. which I love it. And it's Rice and beans is a staple. I mean, just ask your kids today. They want to go to Pancheros or Chipotle. You know, that's really uh, you know, part of the American diet right now. I love rice and beans. I eat it I believe, once a week at least. And there's a thing every day. But <laughs> You've been, uh, so you went through this progression where yeah. you actually were working with clients from a health coach perspective. So you're coaching them on their health. You're teaching about mm -hmm. the foods. And then they're like, I'm working a job. I got kids I to take care of. I have family. I don't have time. Mara, can you come to my home and cook these for me? And you're like, yeah, maybe that's a good idea. So, so yeah, you've been cooking for a client I know in Connecticut for a couple of years now. Yes. And, uh, yeah, and no. your book is growing. Your schedule's getting filled up. In so, New York, I have a couple. If you're interested in Mara's services, uh, she does offer a free consultation. It is available. I will put the link uh, in the chat, mm -hmm. and um, we can chat a little about your needs. Yeah. And if uh, 
personal chef. And also, I good. like always to offer, first I'm meeting a client, it's often actually my, I'm a health coach, so I'm so used to having uh, questions to really know my client, what they need, uh, specifically in terms of nutrition. So, uh, I'm, I, I believe it's important to eat like Daryl said. Uh, food is information. So if I'm cooking, I want to cook something that's going to be helping their health goals, what they are looking for, right? So most of my clients reach out just because they want to continue eating healthy or some allergy or like, oh, I really need like a celiac. I have a client that they can eat gluten, mm -hmm. so they know that I can prepare all the meals gluten-free. So you have gluten-free. You have people that are undergoing cancer therapy. You have yes. uh, young mothers. You have women that are pregnant that are looking to get, right. uh, you know, the baby the right. Or detox. Or detox. I said, you know, and my detox is a delicious detox food. It's really it's not, detox. it's not only like green juice or soups, but there's so many ways that help detox your body. And I can make those delicious vegetable dishes as well. As well. And every time uh, I see your menu, it grows. I think, uh, you know. 20, 30, 40, 50, so, so, many like, so many recipes. And that's the whole thing with variety. You know, to eat healthy, a lot of times it does get boring after a while, and you do need an opportunity to kind of have variation yeah, so uh, in important. your diet. They come to me, clients, and say, oh, well, I like broccoli, cucumber, and tomato. That's the vegetable that I can eat every day. I say, all right, so how about, you know, trying to be open to new uh, vegetables because we need that variety. You're, you know, most of people are really nutrient deficient. Yes, the nutrient you know, deficiencies and the cruciferous vegetables, yeah, you know, the anti-cancer vegetables. There's different ways of making them that can be delicious. Like, there's so many, uh, there's so many, a couple of vegetables that I never ate. I didn't go out eating. Mm -hmm. And then when I tried in a rec certain recipe that I enjoyed, so I eat now. Yeah, and I know some of your other specialties are anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. uh, for people that have lower GI issues, that you can basically prepare menus that uh, are not inflammatory to the right. body. Um, you also have autoimmune yeah. uh, selections on your menu, and then you have your anti aging food that so makes people feel young and energetic. Yeah, there's all it's a function of cuisine, like, you really, cuisine. Yeah, like everything that you're eating has a specific importance to your body so that's why it's important to be more open and stop saying i don't like these i don't like that so we have to be open to try and, I'm and your body will tell you your body yeah. listening like wow this is really good and you're gonna do so before. good eating and say you know i better like this it's so good so we have this um i have to make sure it's really hot right because we need to melt the chop so you make we'll, extra chop yeah extra yeah. hot to melt yeah, that yes we really yes. kind of boiling and we have our uh, pots bacon, and we can just. Yeah. And also, your background as a health coach, first and foremost, um, getting certified by IIN, which right. is the integrated nutrition aspect mm -hmm. of it. Um, and that's helped you, I know, a lot with your. Uh, that's showing the camera. Yep. Your Instagram, and there's. You yeah, see show it right there. there. So there's that chocolate melting from that hot coconut milk there. So once again, the food that you eat, the nutrition that you get from it, and then also the way you feel, this great energetic food, this great energetic uh, energy, this great energetic overwhelm being here. Look at this. This looks like a hot chocolate there, huh? Yeah, but it's going to thick. You have to eat two thickens. Okay. Like I said, um, A lot of that's the keto, right? They're into like good fats and protein. Yes, definitely good fats. I know uh, the MCT oil, MCT the oil. medium there chain triglycerides. Which is coconut oil, if you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so good when they advertise it. Yeah. Like, hey, there's a, uh, you have all that great uh, MCT oil in it. It's MCT coffee and all right, this right. great. All it's great just add coconut oil to your coffee. Exactly. Which, I like coconut oil better than butter because I know they got the, the butter guy, the bulletproof mm -hmm. guys. Oh, they like do the butter, yeah. yeah. But the I like the butter. Way, if you blend it, it's it's like coffee and milk. It's like like um like a cappuccino thing. Yeah, kind of. you can whip it. Whip it, whip it. Yeah. yeah. So look how this is thickening up here. Can they see it? In here? Yeah. Let me show it. Close. Close to this camera. Yeah. Oh, it's really getting thinny. 
Delicious. Delicious. All right, and our next step of our directions, as I said, this is a filling. So we did add the coconut milk to the pot. We heated it on medium heat until it's starting to boil. And then we poured it into our bowl that contains the chopped chocolate. And then once you thicken it up, then we're going to leave it for like 30 seconds. Yes. Then you can use a whisk as well. Yeah. You, you want to blend it, make sure that all the chocolate chips are melted and it's nice and blended with the coconut. And then our favorite final step, which is to pour it into the tarts. Right. And then put and it then in the fridge and chill. decorate with this. Beautiful guys. Yes. Yes. So let's check our macarons and see how they're doing. Oh, there's one trick that I want to show. We have a trick? So, one step back. Yes. They come up. You see how they come up? Yeah, let's do a zoom in on that just for a second there. Yeah, they get a little puffy. But uh, then, with your finger, you just stick it down. Make sure that you don't burn your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> or melt your gloves. You Can know, I on there. Yes. No, I'm sorry. Because you need it, the space to pour the. Oh, yeah, if you don't do this, you're not. It's going to be too thick. You can do this one too. It is hot. <laughs> it is hot. <laughs> Two more minutes and we're ready. And our macarons are in the freezer. Yeah, so let's finish this off. There we go. So what we're doing is we're going to fill the chocolate tarts. And we're going to pour it evenly into the tarts, and from there we're going to be able to place it right into the fridge and let that uh, let that hard so you can actually see the end result here. So you're going to ladle it into the tarts. There you go. Try not to make a mess. So. Oh, make a mess with chocolate is always fun. You know oh, that. you know what? Yeah, let me just show you how easy it comes off. Show it. It pops right out, okay. pops right out of the tin there. Yep, right into the shape. You have to wait until it cools down, of course. So okay. I'm going to take it up now. Here, right here. Check this out. <laughs> I see that. Looks good. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to pop those out of the tins. Yeah. We're going to add the filling in there. We're going to pour it evenly into the tarts, place it in the fridge for about 30 minutes until the filling is fully set. And then also, too, we're going to add some additional antioxidants in addition to the chocolate. We're going to be adding our berries. Yeah, and you can decorate the way you like with coconut flakes on top or even nuts. Nuts, right? Yes. Yeah. I'd like add those nuts in there as well. I think I put too much in that one, but Oh yeah, the idea would be wait a little longer to get because it's liquid like this because it's still warm. Right. Once it starts to cool, we'll thicken. Right? There we go. Look at that chocolatey goodness dripping right in there as well. Now can I use this for chocolate covered strawberries too? Is this a good mix to uh yeah. overall for chocolate? So this is ready. It goes in the fridge, and now we're gonna take out the refrigerator. The uh, macaroons. Right? Yes, yeah, so we're gonna do the macaroons. Uh, a little macaroon volcanoes. So what we did already for the uh, the macaroons yeah. is we had uh, cooked the macaroon mixture. Uh, we stir it, and also, too, we wanted to do a little speed up, so we added it to our fridge to make sure that it would harden up pretty quickly. 
So let me move the pan to the side here. We're moving the pan right in the center here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, they're getting a little puffy again, those tarts. Uh-oh, what are you going to do? All right, I'm going to wash. Let it somewhere. So these are these great little shells here. Yes, we need space to put that in there. So, you know, as I mentioned before, the macarons I was used to growing up was a condensed milk oh, macaron. Which and very, very sweet. Also has dairy in it. We're focusing on plant-based. Artificial. Very good. Yeah. We have that. And this, we're going to put this in the fridge now. Yep. It's going to go right in the fridge. We'll harden that up. Um, and I'm like macaroons. Yeah. Let's zoom in on the macaroons. So like I said, you can use this to make it as a cookie. Or we can... Into like a little book. They're called volcanoes. Volcanoes? Nippolettas. I mean, you know. That's my cookies. Yeah. So, we'll do a combination of uh, some cookies here as well as these little volcanoes. Um, you can do them in little Easter egg shapes. You can do them into uh, I don't know, whatever artistic, yeah, whatever artistic uh, flavor. <laughs> You want shape you want to make you can do that as well. You can make smaller if you want more, but I think it's about um, 15, yeah. 10, 15. 10, 15. Can make it bigger. Shape in the bobolettas and the dadios. You know, you can do a couple different, you know, you for your kids. That. And also, you know, get the kids involved. We want to bring youth in involved as early as possible with the, yes. the, the, the magic of cooking. And I know you should teach camp classes, you should teach uh, these little cooking true. classes. I did, I did. So you were definitely invested in teaching you to do it. But you gotta have fun. And that's really what we what we try to instill in everybody with our cooking is having fun. And I think that was my biggest audience. Like I would like have uh, cooking cooking with uh, about hundred kids in a day. <laughs> of of course separate classes, but ten kids in the class each time. Day. So it's a great experience that I had in the past cooking, um, in, uh, cooking classes for kids. I think I have that on my website, right? Yeah, now. your cooking class for your kids and also, yeah, on your Facebook archives, I mm -hmm. believe, as well. So rolling into balls here, um, it did firm up from being in the refrigerator for a little bit. Make it smaller than Yeah, Add some butterflies out of it. Perfect. Yeah, there's all kinds of fun things you can do with the uh, shapes and sizes here and, uh, it's also good therapy with the hands as well. So mm -hmm. if you have senior citizens that um, you know maybe suffered a stroke or look to get a little dexterity in their hands, there's always fun with cookie dough. Uh, in this case, making these little macaroons. Macaroons. Macaroons here. And then tell us what would you like us to cook? So we're gonna have our May class, right? Yeah, we're up for ideas for the May class. May class, what do you want to do? If you uh, have some ideas that uh, tell us what you want to learn, what you want us to talk about, what you want to learn as a health coach, we have a lot of resources and we have been doing workshops before. So, but I'd like to, I would, would like to hear from you what you'd like us to talk about. Yeah, so the first one we did was a Valentine's Day dinner, mm -hmm. and uh, then we switched over to a brunch, and then our third year is desserts. But we also want to make sure that um, we have the ability to uh, to share. And once again, if you hadn't had the opportunity to visit um, Mara's Healthy Creations, you're just going to go to maraishealthycreations.com forward slash recipes. You'll see our healthy recipes here. And, you know, for today, as I said, we did the coconut macaroons and the cocoa chocolate tarts for a green brunch. Back in March, we did the roasted cabbage steaks. I loved it. Uh, we did, yeah, we did the Irish yes. green omelet. Everything was Irish, 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 Irish. Boxty. <laughs> Boxty. Boxty with salmon. It's so fun to try, you know, new recipe. Like, you know, what other 10 countries, what they eat. I, it's so good to Yeah, we learned a lot of Irish here. We went to the Irish oatmeal pudding, mm -hmm. and then we learned about cashew cream. And then in February, we did our Valentine's Day dinner. With the famous kizu salmon. Oh, that salmon. Yeah, 
And then we did a new veggie that a lot of people might not incorporate on a regular basis, the parsnip and carrot puree. Right. We did a ginger citrus heartbeat salad. And then definitely for Valentine's Day, we got to show a little bit of love. That's one of my favorites, of my clients' favorites now, the parsnip carrot puree. Mm -hmm. They're always requesting that recipe. Parsnip And Dean loved that too. Yeah, my son Dean and really just had a good time with it. So we made uh, a variety of recipes. So if you'd like to share some ideas yeah. or some requests, we'd love to hear from you. And uh, we'll add it to um, our next event okay. for May. Yep. So that could might be a brunch, might be a dinner, might be something we'll special. See, yeah. And also, like, we still, like, April, May, a lot of people are interested in detox. So I was really thinking about talking about detox for our next class and That's making bigger. some recipes. Now, you've been detox teaching your recipes. detox program for the last years. years. <laughs> Probably five to seven years uh, yeah, since you got certified as a health coach. Yeah, a lot of, uh, why do people want to detox? I mean, what's the number one reason, you know, where they're really focusing on detoxing? They just don't feel good in their own bodies. Like, they are tired. They are, you know, yeah, of course, a lot of people should lose weight. But I said, it's, the lose weight is just the cons consequence of eating healthy and changing your eating habits. So I don't like to say detox for losing weight. First, you have to think about and focus on eating healthy. Then naturally you're going to lose weight, right? So yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And I know, yeah. you know, your detox program is, you know, people want to do it for life. Mm -hmm. But what if you took your program and kind of fell off yeah, a little bit? I like bit to call a lifestyle change. Lifestyle change. Right? That's not only based on eating habits, but also general life, uh, life habits. What's your habit on sleeping and drinking water and meditating or like having some practice that will help you come down for stress, help you with st stress management, um, anxiety. So people tend to focus only on food when what they really need is the primary food, which is sleep better, which is um, taking time for yourself. So, so detoxing the mind and the body. Detox your mind and your body and mind. Yes. yes. That's how cool. So we're going to put these in the oven right now. Yep. We have the right temperature for this. I think it's 325. So the temperature for our macaroons. I believe it's 325. It is 325. And that's the baking sheet. And we use a little tablespoon. I guess 15 to 20 out there. And um, these don't spread at all, like typically a cookie would. So right. when you make cookies, you have to leave a little uh, a little buffer space in there. So the buffer is so the cookies don't touch each other when you when you put them on the plan. And in this case, you don't have to worry about that. It's very easy, you see? Yes. Yes. Supposed to be your first time making Yes. So it's pretty easy. Yeah. Simple. So. Pretty easy. So yeah, if you have a comment, put it in the sections there. We'd love to hear from you, not only for our upcoming classes. But also, we got plenty of free stuff, like the recipes on the website. You can share those. Yeah. And then also, we have an opportunity to have a complimentary consultation, yeah. a discovery call. Yeah. What typically do you talk about? Um, so they can either call you about your, your health coaching, right. or they can talk to you about being a personal chef. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what I see that my clients um, needs right now, because they really want to to eat healthier and try to change their lifestyle, but they don't have the time. Like busy, like executive women, like you know, like even moms. Yeah, who moms work, are very busy as well. Moms that work yeah. and they have a job that they start and sometimes seven, eight in the morning. They get home at five and they need to leave the kids in the babysitter or, or you know, um, yeah, busy women who don't have time to cook, but they want to eat healthier. So they love coming home. And just open the refrigerator or freezer and just heat it up and eat and have. I even had experience with clients saying, oh my gosh, it even improved like the quality of my life with my family, my husband, my kids, because now I don't have to be every day worrying about oh, what's for dinner and whatever they order food, they take a lot of taking out. Yeah, it's so expensive with the order so of food. And you don't know, your, yeah, you know, you know right. what we're putting in the food, whether it's organic. It's not organic. Most of Plenty of pesticides yeah. on the salads if you get out, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It's a blue in the back. So, yeah. So, they said, now I don't have to worry about that. And I know that I'm eating a very healthy, nutritious food. 
and the things you enjoy. So, that's so you take them through the process. We learn about what their likes are, what they want to do, what their goals are of having a personal chef. Right. And then you arrive at their home and you prepare what a week's well, worth actually of food. I start, well, first I start actually creating a specific uh, menu for them. Yes. Raising what the question are that they answer. Mm -hmm. I will know what if they're allergic, allergic to any ingredients or their preferences. Or And sometimes they say, oh, I don't like this, but I'm open for suggestion. I have clients who got to be open to suggestions. Okay. You've got to be open to trying new things. <laughs> right. um, and I think we do it all the time. I think we have a set group of foods that we go to and we need to start rotating Our taste in. buds. Got so used to what the way we ate when I was a kid. Right. So that's what they say uh, that you have a kids taste but they do it best. So uh, yeah, but as an adult, please stop being a child. Eat more vegetables, try new things, and that's gonna be good for your health. And I I have to say that it was not even easy for me, but when I start learning more about certain uh especially greens, like especially greens. You know, I don't. I do. I tell everybody about the um, um, cilantro. Yes. That I could eat cilantro. Any you could eat cilantro, being a Latina and you not eating yeah, cilantro. Yeah. What's up with that? So I didn't like that. I believe that my, my parsley. Yes. So I grew up eating a lot of parsley in the recipe. But once I learned all the benefits of cilantro, how it's good for detox. Yes, it's a right? detoxifier. It's a key later. Yeah. It takes out prescription yeah. drugs you may have taken. It has pesticides and, yeah, heavy so, metals. Heavy metals, yes. Yeah. So uh, I tried, actually I tried, my first recipe that I tried cilantro was guacamole. Guacamole with yeah. cilantro? Can you what do you think that? I was not eating guacamole with cilantro before. But I love it now. I can eat with salads and with fish. It's a very good, you know, it's a... That's Great combination. Great. Okay, so you they fill in a questionnaire. So you have a discovery call with them. You learn about them. Yeah. If they want to take the next step, then you'll fill out you'll fill out the questionnaire. Mm -hmm. They do the questionnaire, and then from there you create a menu, create the ingredients list, and then you show up at their home. Have a shopping. Oh, forgot the shopping yes. part. I'm skipping so, all these steps. Yes, it's, yeah. With my job is really like the questionnaire. I create the menu. There's a we work with a Google Doc. I think mm -hmm. it's it's been working fine for yes. now. So they they are able also to edit the Google Docs. So if I suggest a recipe for that week and they say, oh, that's great. I love that. I have a friend who was always is doing that, but it's fine. Uh, oh, instead of, um, um, let's say, spinach, can you do that stir fry with other kind of vegetables? Or, you know, I want maybe um, peppers instead of broccoli. And they add it. And I read the, um, the doc, mm -hmm. edit, and basing on what they, their request, I make a grocery list. Then guess what? What? I'm the one who does, can help you also doing the grocery list. I could send you the grocery list for the, what you're going to be making that week. But uh, most of the clients said, you know, I don't know exactly what to buy. And so well, they buy the wrong thing, or, or yeah. they place the order online, but then they get the wrong ingredients. So it's worth it. They think it's worth it, really hiring me for that service as well. So I think doing the shopping was for me it's easier and it's fun, but it's my it's part of the. So you service. show up with bags of groceries yeah, at their home, <laughs> and then then what do you do? Yeah, I start with the uh, cleaning the vegetables, getting everything prepped, and cook all the meals for the week. Uh, the main, I think the most popular service is uh, five uh, meals. For either oh, two for, people or four so people. either two people or five people. And usually get six hours, sometimes seven hours. Six hours, hours and you're at home cooking. cooking there, yeah. Infusing it with love and good vibes. Right. All good ingredients and I pack every day. Pack and label, label it, right? everything, go in the refrigerator, you know exactly what you're eating. Uh, some people like the, we call the family style, that I cook, let's say, a stir fry, chicken stir fry or tofu stir fry, and I put it in one container. I suggest glass containers, label, put refrigerated, and because some people that eat different uh, amounts, like mm -hmm. the kids eat more, maybe that the money saving, so they just heat it up as they um, eat, they as for the meals or some like an you know, individual, then I will um, pack according to 
what they need also. They want a small, if they're in a low carb or you know, less carbs, more protein, more vegetables. So that's uh, really it's completely it's customizable yeah, for your health needs. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes, and then we're waiting almost there. Yep, got a few minutes, minutes left here. We want to make sure that we have all of our ingredients cooked, fully ready to go. And once again, it's the coconut macaroons that uh, right. we're working on right now. We actually did the tarts, and we wanted to make sure that everybody had That's an true. opportunity to see where we're at here. The magic of uh, broadcasting here. We have the tarts firming up. I'll put them, I think, in the uh, freezer, actually, for a few minutes. Fine to put them yeah, in the let's do them in the freezer. We're going to do them in the freezer as well. So this way we can show everybody how we came up. So we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. It's cooking in the oven. Cranking up the heat a little bit with those. Once again, if you want to get all of our recipes, you can certainly go to uh, to the website. And it's marashealthycreations.com forward slash recipes. And today, once again, we're on our Easter and Passover desserts. And then also, too, we have our green brunch recipes as well. And your spice up our Valentine's Day where we did our Valentine's Day dinner recipes. We also wanted to make sure that you stay tuned for our next episode and we get your input on kind of shaping our future yeah. here. Yeah, so I'm you just, wanted to talk about? Yeah, I'm just gonna melt a little chocolate for to drizzle the macarons. Not forget about that. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of a drizzle on the macarons. The macarons are currently in the oven, so we're gonna make sure that we're doing all those great things. But once again, we'll recap. Uh, what we're doing and In the kitchen here, we're going to the final home stretch, waiting for the macaroons to um, cook up. And also, we're going to do a little bit of chocolate drizzle, and then we also added some of the berries. So we decorate. have decorate. Yes, we're going to decorate. We have the raspberries as well as the blackberries. Very high in anti antioxidants. I think Mother Nature made it very easy for us to um, choose healthy things like raspberries and blackberries very high in antioxidants very delicious and go well with chocolate we have nuts. Nuts. yes we could do some nuts as well we have some a variety of nuts available i generally prefer um kind of like almonds or we also have walnuts and we also have i don't know all, all kinds of little tinier nuts but i know one of the things you do every day is you eat one specific nut every day what is that one specific nut What's the one that you eat every day? Oh, my, um, smoothies? Your Brazil nuts. Oh, Brazil nuts. Yeah, two a day. Two a day. Yeah, it's good for the health of my thyroid. Okay. Everybody's thyroid. So Absolutely. You it, um... So we're going to do some organic <laughs> almonds here. So we're going to do right? And uh, we're shopping at Sprouts. We, we like organic. In this case, it's going to be raw. So we have those available. And then also, too, we have our... Um, our berries and it just if you want to zoom in a little bit on what you're showing with your hot little chocolate yeah, there. Yeah, I, I have to put it in but it's not. Put another minute to melt. Yeah, so we're melting some chocolate and we're going to do like a little fancy uh, drizzle. So the drizzle part of it kind of gives that little extra artistic value. To, <laughs> artistic value to the macaroons as well. We're going to do a quick oven check as well. I know we have a few minutes left there. 
Yes. Sometimes they're ready, but you know, have to wait for this. Wait for the bing bing. Yeah. So we need some time. Why don't we? Uh, these tarts are cooled. We can uh, start can filling those up. Yes. So when we melt the chocolate, um, there's a couple couple techniques. I know we use the microphone uh, or the microwave. I also use um, just a pan of hot water. I'll put them in there. I'll use the hot water to boil up and create the heat. And then from there, we'll create that little drizzle right over the macaroons. And then we also have our little tarts that have um, cooled. Yeah. So let's do that. Well, yeah, this is actually the one that we already let's do the the one that's ready. Yep. So we're gonna do the one that's ready, which is right in here. And we did speed up time a little bit. We actually added them into the freezer. So we'll zoom there. Let me zoom the camera in there. Yeah. There you go. So maybe a few more minutes, but we're gonna maybe go through this. So this. Okay. So yeah, we just have to decorate now. Yes. So we have a little decoration going Which I, I like to use some mint leaves to make that like. Oh, get a little green, green in there as well. Yeah, got a little fanciness there. And the chocolate does get a little firm. And because there's coconut in it, it's almost like a creamy chocolate filling. So it's not like a chunk of chocolate that's in there because, you know, chocolate's a big part of it. But it's also the, uh, the creaminess of that coconut milk. And I it's have to say, it could be, it's not totally cool yet, but yeah, which I don't have it here, but it would be very nice to add some um, a mint leaves, like to, to show the flowers in mm -hmm. this one. And we can also, well, the berries, we can put, well, let's make one of the berries, right? Perfect. Berries, one. You got a little combination there, a little black and red, all right. There we go. And we can just add some some nuts here. So we're using our raw almonds, kind of complement the almonds and the crust as well, right? Yeah. Oh, you make little flower leaves. Yeah. I like that. So be as creative as you'd like. Definitely, there's a variety of customizing. I also saw some people put some uh, some coconut shreds on top as right. well. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, and it's really like with the um, mint leaves, you know, look really cool. And all the kinds of fruits, you know. Oh, yeah, you want to do one with coconut? Yeah, put some coconut flakes on top, yeah. So we got the whole variety going on here as well. Look at that, how colorful is that? Love the coconut flakes. Coconut flakes. Yeah. So there it is. There it is, very colorful. And it, oh, very nice. Look, that zoomed in on there. It's going to go back in the fridge as we finish the uh, macaroons, then we can cut one. Just yeah, that would be perfect. So the macaroons, as I said, we're, we're baking those. You did turn up the heat a little bit. Currently, we're right now at about 350 temperature-wise. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you, the brown bun. Let me get to show it. Yeah, I hear them sizzling. There's a little sizzle sound. Yeah, so it's yep. show the bottom so you can see that as well. Yes, the bottom on the chocolate tart. Yes. So let's just take maybe this is because I don't have enough chocolate milk, but enough for the baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I have a plate? Yes. Let's make a fork. 
Yeah, let's do a party of four here. Party of four. Now there's two things you're doing, right? You're gonna do a bottom dip, and then you're gonna do a top drizzle. Yeah, let me see how so you go. I'll be easier if I melt it in a bigger thing. This is different though. So let's use this one because this is just I, actually this is just chocolate. Right. So what you do just gonna put the bottom and this one because it's a little messy, but you like a little parchment paper? Uh, that's a good idea. Actually, I thought what you did before is you actually used something like this. Shiny side up. Yeah, because it's going to go in the um, freezer, right? So I like to put it in size like this. So it's a good idea. You going for the parking paper? Yeah, good book. That's fine. Easier to clean up. I have to say that if you use like a shallow dish, it would be much easier. You can see I'm um, here having a hard time to dip it in and take it out. Mm -hmm. So, last time I think of, I use one like that. Yeah. yeah, so they have a little chocolatey base to them and mm -hmm. just tilt them right up to their sides so they can dry off or, as I said, right. cure. And then we'll do one more there. It's a great project to do with kids, right? Yeah. They like to, uh, well, it's almost like painting, getting your hands chocolatey, you know, I think all that, licking your finger, all those fun things you could do. So once again, this is our cocoa nut macaroons, delicious and nutritious, made with, um, I don't know, less than 10 ingredients. As I said, it was the egg whites, um, sugar, salt, honey, unsweetened shredded coconut, and then we did the almond flour, a little bit of vanilla extract, and chopped dark chocolates. Excellent. And then the others were the coconut chocolate tarts. Once again, we did the shells and the filling. It was part of our whole arts and crafts project here. Right. And you know what? We can drizzle and fill this is cold. So we have to put this back in the fridge now or freezer. Yeah, let's do it in the freezer there. And then we'll be wrapping up our show. So if everybody yes, tuned in today, yes, yeah, we want to thank everybody. For mm -hmm. There's one sack. And we'll do a quick freeze on these. We'll show you the drizzle. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully you'll include this in uh, your Passover or Easter entertaining. We love the opportunity to sit, share some nuances, some new things that give you the opportunity to have a little bit of fun and excitement with some new healthy plant-based desserts. Yes, so let's try to cut this up. It, I think it's almost warm. It's a little, it's cut in half. One of these, we have this uh, knife. Yes. Okay, that one. Um, I might use that. Let me do one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's see. Look at that. You slice between the berries. Yeah. Exactly, because there's always one on the side. You know what they call the one on the side? Break. There right. you go. That's called the dingleberry, the one that's like separate from the other two. Oh, that's perfect. You have the camera on? Yeah, yeah, let's do a little zoom on that. I love that. How it looks. And I guess we need to have a bite. <laughs> of course we need to bite. What fun is it the name in there? Yes. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Let me share that. All right. You first. Mmm. Let me show this on camera first. Yeah. Right. Oh, that was good. <laughs> okay, now I've got to try it. I like your crunch. Mmm. I don't know. Nice texture, nice mm -hmm. crunch to it. Because. Everything in life has to have a little crunch. It's all about the crunch. Yeah. And I'm gonna try a little piece with the berry, the berry and the crunch. Yeah. Mmm, I love it. Mmm. 
And it's a very creamy filling. It's not overwhelmingly chocolate mm -hmm. because it has the coconut milk in it. So delicious. Well, actually, like half of this. I can't eat a whole thing. <laughs> you can't eat a whole one? No. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll save that for the kids. No, it's not, a, it's not a, um, just sweet. Like with the dark chocolate. Yeah, it's not overwhelming. And that's what we're saying. Typically, Easter mm. is all the box of chocolates and the chocolate eggs and the chocolate bunnies and chocolate, 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 or jelly beans, all this crazy, crazy sugar, artificial colors. Keep the kids away from the artificial colors. Artificial all artificial colors are neurotoxins. They cross the blood-brain barrier. Not a good thing for kids growing up and using their brains for learning. My moms are complaining their kids can't sleep at night. They're so hyper. They get running around the house. They don't listen to Any them. kid would love this. This is delicious. You eat your chocolate, you eat yeah. your berries, the whole thing. Same thing with the coconut. Real plant-based information for your body. This is one thing I love. At least the last piece. Okay. Okay. I have fed and the last piece, so that's always fun. To do. Yeah, and I think you're ready for the macaroons. Yeah, let's do the macaroons and froze it up. Huh? I always want to see you guys have to do it. I'm not quite ready yet, but it might take them another five minutes. But I think it should show us the technique. Yeah. 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 Y
let us know what you'd like to see us make next, and we'd certainly like to do that for you. Yeah. If you want more information about Mara's Health Coaching, once again, it's available on her website, maraishealthcreations.com, and also your private chat as well. Right, and also, and also, don't forget to like this video, please share, and we're also on YouTube, you're starting your YouTube channel. Yep. We're on the Seven Keys uh, YouTube channel, so definitely check that out. And then also we have some great announcements coming up. We're going to be doing a uh, detox program with our good friend Nikolai. Right, that's at Vita Den. 21st, with a workshop. I'm very excited about that. Hopefully. So we're talking about detoxing, and uh, Nikolai's going to talk about detoxing your body mm -hmm. through some great yoga moves and detoxing your mind, and also... You can have some food for sampling as well. Yep, that's coming up soon, next month. So stay tuned, check out our pages, and any other things you wanted to mention? Um, you're starting another detox program, but you do have a detox program available mm -hmm. with an ebook and online learning and videos. Reach out, just send me uh, if it's Instagram, a direct message, or Facebook, um, or even WhatsApp. Some people like to uh, get connected by WhatsApp, and I will share my link. Uh, with um, Calendly, where you can sign up for um, 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, free session. 15 right? minutes. Thank you, session. Uh, everyone who is here. And hope you like the recipe. Please, if you make this recipe, don't forget to take a picture. Take some post pictures. It. You can tag us, Power Couple Circle, also Mada Health Coach, and also 70s. Wellness. Wow, that's exactly. And we're kind of everywhere now, so you're going to be easy for you to find us. Very happy to uh, be part of your life and share yeah, it. And sharing it out here and inspire you. The yes. idea is to inspire you to make healthy recipes for you, your family, eat healthy, and all that. And that lifestyle, healthy lifestyle. And journey. one of the seven keys, absolutely. Yeah. Spirit, okay. mind, body, love, family, work and play. Go out and play today. It's a great opportunity to do so. All right. See you later. Bom dia. Bom dia. Boa tarde. Boa noite. Bye.